what a change of pace I am. <laughs> I am not a professional comedian. In fact, I haven't been here in two years. Thanks, Dan. The, the last time I was here was the night the Warriors dropped Game 7 to Cleveland in 2016. Yeah. It was two years ago. It, and they won this time. But that, that night was playing to a tune. There were 15 people in the total audience, and 10 of them I bought dinner for. <laughs> I made 11 bucks in tips, which was a new record. <laughs> but it cost me 350 bucks to feed these guys. <sighs> By the way, uh, Posse, how's dinner tonight? Can we get a few more bottles? Yeah. <laughs> so tonight we're here to support the Democrats as they try to take back the House and the Senate in the midterms. <laughs> Just a show of hands, how many of you are excited about the Trump tax bill? I don't see anyone. How many of you would like to hear a five-hour class about the Trump tax bill? No takers. Well, I did read an interesting statistic the other day. The average middle-class American family will save enough from the Trump tax bill to purchase one, one Starbucks tall latte every month. Wow. That is, that is living large. Actually, it's living tall. I have a lot of puns. I hope you like puns. It'll be interminable. Um, my primary reason to be here is not to talk about politics, although I could, or to talk, talk about the Trump tax bill, which I definitely could, but because I'm trying to dispel the image of accountants, okay? I've heard all these terrible things. Bean counters, God, I hate that one. Number crunchers, it's just as bad, okay? We are exciting, wonderful human beings. We are. And I have a simple goal. I want to change all the world's 7,245,587,015 people, as of now, into a love of accounting, to love accountants. Get away from that norm type image, if you remember Cheers, okay? And to do that, I come up with a six step program. And because I have the microphone, you guys get to hear all six steps. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. yeah, good. Step number one, unusual one. We have to show that we can party. Party. <laughs> Were any of you out here right outside on Main Street on the night of April 18th, which was the tax deadline because the IRS com computers crashed on the 17th, but that's a different story. On the night of the 18th, out here, there was an accountant's raid party going on. It was insane. There were 300 CPAs, and we were dancing and having a great time. It was amazing. And about 9.30, we all held up our Pentel 0.5 millimeter pencils. This is standard. We all have these. And we get lead that fits it, okay? And we're swaying, swaying. It's 0.5 millimeters. We were swaying. <laughs> Swaying to our favorite themes, our theme song, which was "I'm the Tax Man." Ooh, ooh, I'm the Tax Man. And then we went home because we had to go to work the next day. <laughs> but it's a hell of a party. <laughs> Step number two. two. We need CPA athletes. Not like the NBA, believe me, okay? Not like the Warriors. But I'm doing my part. I have joined a competitive men's synchronized swimming team. We are eight middle-aged accountants, and we wear color-coordinated Speedos. Mine are chartreuse. 
You don't hear chartreuse very much anymore, but that's my favorite color. Okay. Our routine uh, in co competition consists of making the shapes of the world's currencies while underwater. <laughs> Let me tell you that British pound is brutal on the back. <laughs> the hardest part of our routine is when we change underwater from a US dollar to a Venezuelan Bolivar. Because when we make that change underwater, we become insolvent. <laughs> By the way, remember that Starbucks tall latte? In Caracas, it cost 80,000 bolivar. How's that communism working out? Not very well. That's funny. <laughs> take what I can get. Okay. Step number three, very unusual one, accounting romance movies. Not, not an action movie, that terrible movie with Matt Damon, I think, The Accountant, no. Romance movies. I am a romantic. You can just ask my wife, Laura, there. Uh, 15 years ago, I asked her to marry me, and I did it like this, and I'd like to show you exactly how I asked her to marry me. 15 years ago, I could do this. <laughs> oh, darling. Let's file jointly. <laughs> With our love, we can overcome any obstacle now or in the future. We can learn to live with a marriage penalty. That's the extra tax you pay when you go from single to being married. It's a disappointment for some people. <laughs> we can handle the alternative minimum tax until it goes away in 2018. I didn't know that, but it does. <laughs> And there'll be new obstacles. The $10,000 limit on state and local income taxes, the SALT deduction. With our love, we can lick the SALT deduction. Aww. I told you about the puns. I got the girl. <laughs> Step number four. We need to be on social media. I'm doing my part. I have a blog. It's called Tax Dude. Tax Dude. <laughs> each <laughs> daughter. Uh, e each week I publish some really cool hip tax update. Last week's was sort of cool. It was about uh, Jones versus Commissioner, which was a new tax court case that ruled that the cost of a vasectomy is deductible as a medical expense. <laughs> yeah, it was really exciting. So, um, <laughs> however, I said, if you want to get that vasectomy, you better hurry and deduct it. You, want, you better hurry because starting in 2019, medical expenses will no longer be deductible. So you better rush to get that tax cut <laughs> this week's blog is going to be about something very personal. Five days ago, I became a grandfather. <laughs> so I wanted to say something, you know, really heartwarming to my daughter Jamie and her husband Jonathan at the birth of their child. And I said, his name's Corey. And I said, you know, kids, I want to, you know, got kids. I want to tell you that the average cost to raise a child to age 18, not including college, not including college, in the San Francisco Peninsula is $287,500. And they felt really close with that. <laughs> and then I said, but don't worry. Uh, the Trump tax bill gave you each a thousand dollar. I mean, gave give you a thousand dollar additional tax credits credits for your child, so that'll more than offset it. And they felt warm fuzzies because of that. <laughs> Step number five. We're getting to the end. I hope you're not nostalgic. Uh, 
we need to be in the public media. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be a guest on KQED Forum for the last five or six years on a tax Q&A show. And we get all sorts of questions on there with Mr. Krasny and other people. And the one I remember was a lady called up and she said, I have an animal welfare for-profit business. And my dogs are an integral part of the business. They're involved in everything. Their pictures on the web page, everything. As a result of that, I should be able to write off everything relating to those dogs. The dog food, the vet supplies, everything. What do you think? And she pressured me and pressured me. I said, you know, this is a gray area. But if you wanted to deduct these expenses, there's a special form for it. Form K-9. <laughs> That's probably the last pun, so I hope you're not nostalgic again. <laughs> the final metamorphosis to becoming hip happening people and getting the world jazzed about accountants is to have music stars. And I am the world's first accounting rap singer. <laughs> I, I hope this isn't too painful. My name is Bad Abacus. That's my bling, baby. <laughs> there are sunglasses. It's hard to see. I'm a badass mofo. It's my family to the core. I used to be dull, now I'm a dude of lore. Listening to me used to be a chore. Isn't that right, honey? Now, no one thinks that I'm a bore. I got an LLC, an LLP, an S Corp, and a C. All but the last of those are eligible for the 20% deduction on the tax section 199 a qualified business interest deduction, which is included in the five-hour class that you guys did not want to hear. I got a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a Maserati, and a Camry. Those are all automobiles. If used in a trader business, they're eligible for bonus depreciation under the Trump tax code. I am blowing smoke, yo. I got a cool home in Palo Alto, also eligible for bonus depreciation if used in a rental property. And I'm rolling in the dough, yo ho ho. That's because my marginal rate went from 39.6 to 37% under the Trump tax bill, and I'm no longer eligible for the, I'm mean, subject to the alternative minimum tax. That's the last tax. I got lots of stuff, but I'm modest, aw uh, shucks. These are the backup singers. He's got lots of stuff, but he's modest. Aw oh, shucks. Yo, listen up, Democrats. I say midterms, you say vote. Midterms! 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 Thank you very much.